MSMC is the trip we do for middle schoolers each summer. Um, this year we are doing something a little different and we are doing MSMC at VBS, which means we are going to have our trip at the same time the church is having VBS. So our students will sign up to help for VBS like normal. They will do everything they've done in the past for VBS. But as an added bonus, we will be having an extra trip with student life, meaning they will stay at the church from Monday through Friday. Um, we will do some extra serving either in the morning or afternoon or afternoons. Um, and we are also going to do some fun events, um, which we're in the process of planning, like we've done in the past with volunteers only. But it's going to be specifically only for middle schoolers, um, and we're hoping that this is going to be a chance to allow more students to get involved with the trip, whereas in the past we've had smaller groups because that's all we could take. Um, but we're hoping this will get more students involved with the church and be able to serve somewhere um, that is local, that they can see every day, um, and experience mission trip right at home. Camp Lighthouse is a summer camp for homeless kids and like homeless transitional centers where they can go to a summer camp like Glisten or something that they normally wouldn't get to go to and they can learn about Jesus and have a bunch of fun summer memories and I was a counselor there so it was really fun to interact with the kids and hang out with them and stuff like that. I think the main impact on the kids is that most of them don't really know Jesus, so I think the biggest impact is that they get to know Jesus for the first time and they get to like connect with him and grow their relationship in him if they already have it, which is really cool. The trip to Haiti is an opportunity given to high school students at Mount Pisgah, and we go down to um, care for Haiti for one week, and we go with a company called Praying Pelican Missions. And we have a couple of trip leaders from America, as well as um, some Haitian translators who stay with us throughout the entire week. The environment is really cool. We stay in a compound, is what I like to call it, because it has a fence around it. Um, but there's a church and the houses that we stay at, the orphanage and a school. Um, it is completely safe. I feel more comfortable walking around um, in Haiti at night than I do walking in my neighborhood. I just hope that through um, us going down there, we can really mend um, people's broken hearts and people's distrust of the church and sort of bring everybody together.